Hi, in this video, I'm going to be answering a question I received from a viewer. As always, if you have any advice for this person, please leave a comment in the comment section below. Remember, when you leave a constructive comment, it does help other people because other people read the comments. Okay, I'm gonna open up this email and I have not read this one yet. The person's name is Tony and the subject is difficulty of problems. The question reads as follows. To what, to what level of difficulty should I be able to solve problems in a given subject? For example, some textbooks use dots to indicate the difficulty level of the exercises, typically ranging from one easy to three challenging. I can usually solve the easy and intermediate ones with some thought, but sometimes I feel lost on the challenging ones. So again, how proficient should one be? That's a really good question, and I actually do have an opinion on this. Um, because I've done a lot of problems from math books and I've been in your situation. I've asked myself this question, you know, should I be solving the really hard questions? I think it's worth spending time on the harder questions. That's just my opinion. I'm not saying it's the right way to do it. This is just what I think. Um, but at the same time, I think it's okay if you can't figure them out. Um, and it's okay to move on and do something else. Um, that's my advice. And I don't think it's the end of the world if you're not able to solve those questions. And the reason I say this is there's a lot of people out there that are really good at solving like hard, challenging math problems. And they're good at that skill, but that doesn't necessarily mean that, you know, they're going to be good at other areas of math. Some people are really good at solving tricky problems is what I'm trying to say. So there's a lot of people who uh, you know, compete in these math competitions and they solve these really hard problems, but they end up, you know, not becoming, you know, great mathematicians and making great discoveries. Obviously, you know, solving hard problems is a good skill to have and it's worth trying to solve these problems. But if you can't figure them out, I guess what I'm trying to say is don't beat yourself up over it. So, um, and I, again, I'm using math competitions as an example because I've known people who've competed in math competitions in some big ones, and I've known people who haven't and, and who have tried to compete and failed, and those people who have failed are still very intelligent. So I guess my point is, if you can't solve those math problems, don't feel bad, right? You know, instead of working on those hard problems, you can work on new math and go to the next section and solve a bunch more easy and intermediate level problems. So my advice is try those problems and see how you can do. But I just want to emphasize that I don't think a person's ability to do math should be based on those difficult problems. That's just my opinion. If anyone else has thoughts that can help Tony or anyone else, please leave a comment in the comment section below. Good luck.